Right, paint first coat is down. Hopefully that shows up. It's got the uh, that splatter template effect still showing through, which is what I want to show. Simulate uh, weathered paint and near the salt water. So I painted that whole model and I've used probably maybe less than a third of a bottle. So good coverage and I. Like I said, I thinned it heavy, so I'm thinning like probably 70%, oh, that's probably less with this one, it's probably about 60% thinner to 40% paint, because it's pretty thin to start with. Uh, so I got carried away, I forgot that I'm doing a yellow nose, so I've got to mask that off, and what I'll do is I'll prime it that area black and then I'll use the splatter template again with grey and then I'll paint the yellow to give it a using the black base as a dirty looking uh, yellow and also I'm going to lighten this with some white and then on the upper surfaces uh, spray in randomly on panels but not on the underside it's just fading on the upper surface is where the sun hits it most unless he's flying upside down all the time okay so I'm finished with the blue I've lightened up uh, twice I lightened it so I mixed some blue put some white in sprayed randomly in the panels and then to that mix I add a little bit more white and then sprayed randomly again so it's uh I can show up well the reflection. So if it looks I like keeping things subtle so to my eyes it's pretty subtle. But if it does look too much, when I give it a clear gloss coat, that'll uh knock it back a bit and blend it together better. So as you can see I did the yellow as well, like I said, so I primed that ring black use the same splatter template and sprayed grey and then sprayed the yellow over and then lightened the yellow with white and sprayed randomly in the panels so that's gonna get a clear gloss coat next and then I've started making the masks up on the silhouette cameo to do the uh, the aircraft number and the the uh, aircraft and I've got the a big arrow on the tail and on the wings and I'll use the Montex mask set for the, in the US insignia so it'll be the next job all right it's had a clear gloss coat <clears throat> and I've begun putting on my homemade masks so that's the uh, layout. So it's got the arrows on the tail and on the wings opposite the uh, stars and, well, not stars and bars in this era, is it? The US insignia. So <clears throat> painting markings is all better, obviously, because you're. You haven't got the thickness of a decal but it's, it's still I find it fiddly because uh, the like I'm using this is a Tamiya uh, masking sheets and it's extremely sticky so you can imagine when you pull that off the cutting and you're trying to lay it down it sticks here it sticks there you gotta try and <laughs> you gotta try and get it down and get it square uh these ones i just went with the old mark one eyeball lining them up but sometimes uh i use what i'll do to make it square i can guarantee it'll be square i'll get a piece of tamiya tape and run it down a bit from where the, the mask's gonna go 
and just run it across square so I know I need to line that mask up to that piece of tape but these ones are okay they worked out alright first time round but like I said they were fiddly so I'm going to paint them in so there's four and then I'm going to do the uh, aircraft number after that which is the one I'm doing is uh, 155 I've cut the mass and now I realize I need to cut two more for the uh, landing gear covers but anyway I'll do that later okay so that's that stage done so we got the aircraft numbers oh, the 155 on the tail and the fuselage I've painted in the uh, to be honest I don't know why they have that it's for that's the fuel tank area but I don't know why they put the rest of it in there but that's in I had to modify so I made it up in the silhouette cutter the mask but this section I had to modify separate make it bigger so it's outside the that panel there's a panel there if it was to scale with this one it was inside the uh, panel and it's supposed to be around the panel from the images I could see so that's done next up is the US insignia so same sort of deal except this this is like uh, vinyl masks. So what I'm going to do, you got. I'll show up. I'm not peeling yet till I'm ready to peel it. But you got the outline, the outer line of the whole insignia, and then you have the star and the bar either side of the star. So what I'm going to do is I put the the outline on the whole outline when it's on the model. I spray it in white and then I put the star and the bar each side in and then I paint the blue in uh, that's how I go about it you can go the other way too if you wanted to I guess you could paint uh, the white oh, sorry the blue and then put the mask over and paint the white in but my way is easier for me so that'll be next so the wings have the bigger ones and there's a smaller one for the fuselage so that will be my next job okay so I'm doing the fuselage ones first I'll just do a bit of a time I'm not doing all four at once so this stage is extremely important I want to get it right so what I did with these masks I lined up, I laid them down from the rear forward and I used the rivet panel line as the guide so the edge of the uh, insignia is parallel with the rivet that squares it up down the fuselage so it's right I can't touch that, I've just given it a gloss coat I when that mask was on, I used the splatter template again and sprayed grey over the blue and then I sprayed the white on. You can see it's a bit ugly and that's what I want. I want it weathered. You don't want... I've painted the aircraft that the paint's weathered. You don't want uh, your markings to clash too much. Next up, when that's dry, this piece is the would be the blue I'm going to lay it I'm just going to lay it in there so I can line up the uh, star and the bar either side so it's all square and then I'll remove this one again and then I'll spray the blue in now if you never use these don't be scared to have a go with them they're pretty uh, if you lay it on and it's wrong 
just peel it off. It'll you can keep moving them around. They're, they're sticky. So I've done builds where I've moved. I had to move them like half a dozen times, and they still keep their the sticky on the back of them. So don't don't be, don't think that once it goes on, that's it. You can keep using them. The only thing I'd recommend is when you peel them, be really careful and go a bit at a time. Don't grab a piece and pull at it because it's vinyl. It stretches. If it stretches and you put it out of shape. Oh, I've done the fuselage insignia. I may have to touch up a couple of areas. Sometimes when you use the mask, they uh, can, I don't think that shows up. You can see a bit of the white. Even though I used the mask, it must have been slightly different size. So I might have to come in and touch that up. And this side, I got a couple of bits of bleed the blue went into the white so my tip there is when you use these masks after you've sprayed gently peel them off and put them back on the card you might be able to uh, use them again for that purpose of doing touch-ups so this one here I didn't even use I used the one the same one for both sides so that's still brand new what I'll do probably is put that back on so it covers the blue up and I can touch in the, the white again or just get a brush and touch it in but uh, sometimes using a brush over airbrush paint you can, it stands out more for the blue on US Insignia I use uh, Mr. Hobby it's H326, uh, it's FS15044, 4, and it's the colour for the Thunderbirds. But I find it is pretty close to the blue on the Insignia, matches pretty close to the decal sheets blue. So I find that a good colour, that's what I always use. Well, I'm not saying that is the right colour, but that comes close to me and I'll continue to use that. So, uh, I've really run out of time today, but so I've still got to do the wing ones. So that's going to be a few days before I get back to that, because back to the old grind tomorrow I'll work. So I'm slowly getting there with this. It's finally starting to forget about how awful the build was and doing the painting is much more enjoyable.